So it seems like the manufacturing industry has dwindled in our area, but with thousands of open jobs in the industry, could it be making a comeback, perhaps in the suburbs? It's an issue that the Daily Herald talks uh, about today. The backers of a new advanced manufacturing program at Harper College certainly think so, and you can see why in today's editions of the Daily Herald. And reporter Kimberly Pohl joins us now. First, let's talk. Uh, while we're not back to 08 levels, some suburbs are seeing encouraging trends when it comes to manufacturing jobs. That's right. Uh, there's a bit of a consensus that manufacturing is coming back because since 2010, uh, the state has added about 43,000 manufacturing jobs and the Chicago area has added about 17,000. What are companies learning right now? Because obviously there's this exodus of jobs to mm -hmm. foreign countries and now companies are kind of thinking, maybe that's not necessarily the best way to go. What's the thinking there? Exactly. There's a seriously diminishing cost gap between foreign and domestic production. It used to be a no-brainer for companies to send certain operations overseas, but now they're seeing that shipping costs have gone up, wages in a lot of these countries are going way up, and they're expected to con uh, continue to climb. And Plus, quality has been a bit of a concern as well. And what role is Harper College playing in trying to uh, help local businesses add American workers? Well, Harper College in Palatine has added, they're launching a, an advanced manufacturing program. And what they did was built a curriculum with the help of area manufacturers. And they've teamed with about 50 of them that will provide paid internships for students throughout this program. So it's kind of an innovative way to go about this. All right. Thank you very much once again, Amy Pohl with the Daily Herald. And of course, you can read the full story in today's Daily Herald. You can also read it online at dailyherald.com.